Tonight, a team of investigators has been formed to figure out why a rocket exploded last night during launch. Aerial photos of the accident site on Wallops Island, Virginia, show the charred area around the launch pad. Orbital Sciences now says the pad and fuel tanks avoided serious damage, although some repairs will be necessary. The search is now on for pieces of wreckage on land and in the water. Orbital Sciences says an accident investigation board made up of NASA, NTSB, and FAA officials will take over the investigation. This was the first loss of a commercial spacecraft since NASA stopped flying the space shuttle program three years ago. The Cygnus spacecraft was set to fly to the ISS with 5,000 pounds of supplies and science experiments. Orbital Sciences says it doesn't know yet what caused the failure, but questions are being raised about the Soviet era engine used to power the Antares rocket. I don't think the fact that it's a Russian engine is a problem, but if there's some design flaw, we'll find that out in the investigation. The investigation in Virginia had no impact on an Atlas V rocket launch here in central Florida today. The unmanned rocket lifted off from Cape Canaveral in picture-perfect fashion. It is carrying a global positioning satellite into orbit.